Yo, dudes, what's up? Overloaded back. Surprise, surprise, I have Toy Soldiers Cold War. I played the first game for endless hours. So addicted to that game, the multiplayer. If you haven't played the multiplayer, I would suggest you go check that out. But, if you don't know what this game is, it is a mixture of almost like a first-person shooter and a tower defense style game in that you can take control of the individual units. So we're going to jump right into this, and I'm going to do the... Uh, it's kind of like the... Uh, do the level select here. We'll go back to the basic train just so you guys get an idea of, of the basic uh, layout of the game. And this is just going to go over the uh, different basic kinds of units and how the game comes together. And in the game, you have a toy box, and you have... I guess I'd call it just like 20 life points, I suppose. The enemy is constantly sending wave after wave after wave at you, and uh, if a unit penetrates the toy box or the entrance to the toy box gets in, you lose one life point. You have 20. As soon as you get to zero, you lose. So the objective is to try and get through uh, every single wave and survive, obviously. So let's get right to it. Aiming, yes, yes, basics. Let's get, let's get going. I don't know how long this video is. Probably enough to cut this video up into two parts. Yes, grenades. Yay! All right, go. And you shoot, you kill the enemy soldiers, and get uh, points or money, I guess, to put new and play. Oh, we'll, we'll go over all that in here in a minute. So we'll go over. And you get to do like basically a practice run. There's a couple of differences between the old one and this one, which are... Hey, you get uh, random barrages for getting uh, like high combo points. And that will give you... It's, it's kind of like a roll of the dice type thing. You'll, you can get uh, a couple different things, which we will actually go over here in a second. This is pretty cool. You can actually control the missile or the artillery around. Oh, I finished that one off. I don't know how. I, I swear the leaderboards are hacked on this game already. But I've looked at the leaderboards for this, and it's like the top score for the first one I just did, I got what, 37,000 points. Yeah, look at the leaderboards over there. 288,000. How do you do that? How do you get 288,000 points in this? Somebody please tell me. I would really like to know what I'm doing wrong here. I think I'm doing pretty darn good. Put that there. Is that it? That's it. Look at that, 25,000. 25,000 even. How do you get 200? Well, whatever, who cares? Anyway, so now we move on to the full on like battle style of this game. That's pretty cool. If you see that hel helicopter right there, that helipad on the football field. You can go over to that and control it, and it's considered a battery-powered vehicle, and it has to charge up, so you can't just spam the helicopter over and over and over again. It's just nice, and kind of keeps it balanced. Yes, this is a build site, I know. Build artillery unit here real quick. Yes, yes, thank you, I know. Bring it on! Bring it on! Can I blow that up? No? Okay. String of combos activates turbo mode, which is also how you pull off the, uh, the barrages. And here in a second, I will get to show you guys the commando. commando oh yeah! 
I love that he just drops out like he's in a, a box. Major Ponage! Eat my explosives! This guy is friggin' epic. He has unlimited ammo for both the rocket launcher and the minigun he's, or the machine gun he's carrying around. And you are on a timer, uh, which is how they keep that balanced. Just a regular, just a barrage. Award. There's a few other ones. There's like a like a bomber strike, like a precision bomber strike. Let's see, what do we want to put down here? Let's put. Uh, let's get a mortar. Mortars are good. Yes, I know that. Anti-tank, that would be good to have. Put another one back here, because there's going to be a lot of tanks coming on later. Do And you're not going to have nearly this much money when you're actually in the game. This is just like a to teach you how to play. So I don't think you're just going to run in and build all of this shit. Just easy peasy. There's our anti-air gun. You can see he's already shooting those off. Makeshift. This is more like an anti-infantry. Oh, I should cover those. Uh, okay, so machine guns are anti-infantry. Mortars are more uh, anti-infantry slash vehicle. Anti-tank is a little self-explanatory. Artillery is is uh, more for directly vehicles and taking out large waves of enemies all at once. Anti-aircraft is self-explanatory, and this is also more, uh, the makeshift is more, it's like a chemical warfare type emplacement, and it's very effective against infantry. So I want to put down an artillery piece, and you want to upgrade your units as soon as you can. So you can see that top part right there, that's telling you what's coming up next. So here it comes, this is my favorite unit to control. Control this round. Uh, overshot that a little bit. That's okay. Look at this guy way over here. Hold oh, on, but where are you going? Where are you going? Ah. Damn, he's quick. You can repair your units, and uh, quick tip too: when you repair your units, if they're damaged, it will revive their health. Go ahead and upgrade this. Well, oh, I guess we can't do that. Darn it. Where are they coming from? Usually there's an arrow that tells you where they are coming from. Where is it? I'm going to have to upgrade first. Yay! Upgrade. There's multiplayer on this game as well, and I that was my favorite part about the game was the multiplayer. So if you get into a good multiplayer match, oh man, you could be... It's its almost addictive. It can go on and on and on and on. Because, you know, your opponent can have great defenses and, you know, certain maps, the, there's differences in the maps. You know, whether or not it's better to take offensive versus defensive and what types of emplacements we want to use. You know, some maps favor aircraft over infantry, some favor tanks over aircraft. It's, there's all kinds of variation. And they're all set up to look like little toy boxes. Which I think is kind of funny. This is where the helicopter goes. I'll get to use that here in a second. Let's go ahead and skip to the next wave. Aha. This is nice. They, it's got like an auto targeting feature whenever you fire. Reload! Yeah! Get on! 